A series highlighting small businesses across the country this morning. Whit Johnson is bringing us a story from an old favorite of mine here in New York. Hey, Whit. Hey, George, good morning to you. Yes, we're here in Morningside Heights, New York, right outside the Hungarian pastry shop, a neighborhood staple that's been here for more than 60 years. And George, I understand you're a big fan. You've been here many times, right? Yeah, I went to Columbia. It's right in that neighborhood. That was a place I used to go, you know, study, have some pastry, some great coffee. It's been around so long. And as you said, it's such an institution in that neighborhood. We love it, George. Uh, we've been uh, scouring the internet to try to find photographic evidence of George in his college days eating here at the pastry shop. Uh, so we're still working on that. But as you mentioned, look, this is all about giving back and honoring the local businesses across this country. And this is a neighborhood institution, usually a line out the door here as people go inside and try to get their hands on one of these tasty treats. We're going to speak with the owner in just a moment. But first, take a look at his story. Philip Vignoris is bringing the sweet taste of Hungary to New York City. The Hungarian pastry shop first opened its doors in 1961, but it wasn't until 1976 when Philip's father bought the shop alongside a few friends. Many of the customers here are, are, have known me since I was a kid. So it's just longevity gives you kind of a history with people and that's a really beautiful thing. In 2012, Philip taking over after his father retired, continuing the legacy through a range of delicious pastries. And these sweet treats aren't the only thing making their mark in the shop. The store at the center of literary inspiration, framing the book jackets of novels that were written right here at the shop. As it continued, people now bring me jackets. They're like, I wrote my book here. I came here for two years straight writing. And I finally got published and I want to put my book on the wall. You get, you get to feel good that, you've, that you're part of something that's communal, part of something that's ongoing. And it's the heart of the community that keeps business afloat. As the changes happen in a city and a community, just being there for everybody who's coming in and then connecting them to a place where otherwise it could just feel very cold. And we are here with Philip Vignores of the Hungarian Pastry Shop. Philip, it is great to see you. How are you doing? Uh, great, great. So we are all up in your business. This is part of our segment as we recognize local businesses uh -huh. across America here. And I understand that you have what we, you would call your most iconic treat that people come in for. Walk us through it here. All right, so uh, business opened in 1961. Yes. We've been serving the same croissant dough, not the same croissant, obviously. Since then, um, it's a specialty of the house. It's a unique dough, and you won't find it anywhere else. We serve it with apricot jam and a pat of butter, and we've been doing that for 60 plus years, and a cup of coffee. Love it. I can tell you I had some outside before the hit. I mean, amazing. It really is. What is your secret to success? We've talked about this business being in place for more than 60 years. Uh, to make it in New York City, what's the secret? Um, well, there's, there's a couple things, I guess. One is people. So as long as the place has people in it, it's alive. Um, so just finding a way to be open and available and always, always here for customers. Um, and then uh, one of the things, one of the, one of the most important lessons my dad taught me was uh, serve people. So always be present, be behind the counter, be engaged and serve people. And, and I think we do that. And you definitely do that. And because you do, and you've been such a big part of this community, we at GMA fell in love with your story. And so, by the way, did American Express, because the folks over there would like to grant the Hungarian pastry shop a $40,000 grant. Cue the confetti. Yes, right? Congratulations to you. I mean, you guys have absolutely earned it. What does this mean to you? Oh, uh, well, we've got a lot of work to do, so <laughs> this will definitely help. We've got some uh, plans to, well, we've got some plans to renovate the exterior, um, up, upgrade equipment, um, just operating costs. This will be amazing. On a personal level, yeah. your dad ran this business, you yeah. know, brought this to the community. What does it mean to you? Uh, on that personal level, your, your connection here to the people and this neighborhood. I, I wake up every morning and do it, so <laughs> um, it's it's my family. This is this is where I come. I mean, I have my family obviously at home, and um, and they're part of this as well. I mean, I bring my girls here and my wife and uh, my sisters and their kids. 
um, yeah, this is this is family. Well, Philip, congratulations once again. We are happy for you. And by the way, guys at, at Times Square, we didn't forget about you either. George, we heard that you like poppy seed pastries, so we sent them yeah, some to great. the Times Square. That's great. And also, Square those croissants, he's right. They are amazing. You're going to share with the rest of the team. Yes, so, they are. They absolutely are. I got to well, try a croissant now. Yeah. I love croissant. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Whit. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.